I have a simple suggestion. If you're feeling stressed out, worried about the world, be kind to yourself and pick up an instrument. The reason? Well, it's because I truly believe learning the guitar is better than meditation. And in this video, we're gonna tell you exactly why that is. I played guitar for years. As a kid, I learned classical, and then as a teenager, I got into sick old electric stuff. But then came the gap. Basically, I didn't pick up the instrument for about 12 years, something ridiculous like that. But when the pandemic hit, and as I'm sure you've found yourself, one of the positives of the pandemic, probably the only positives, is a lot more time, I decided to get back into guitar again. And what surprised me is not only was it fun, but it also felt good in my brain and relaxing. Uh, and it turns out I wasn't the only one who has that experience playing instruments. Long story short, I just had no idea how good learning an instrument was for my noggin. It feels relaxing, like my issues are melting away and my brain is a little oasis of ocean calm. But really it's the combination of the mindfulness of actually playing with this soft glow of creativity that effectively just feels great, man. Of course, play whatever instrument you want or have a history with or draws you. That's kind of the joy of music in itself. But I do think the guitar is suitable for the largest number of people. And that's for three main reasons, really. The first is its comparative cheapness. You can pick up a guitar for not that much cash. Secondly, a wealth of resources about the instruments from apps to websites. You can find a huge amount of guiding material. And third, and most importantly of all, it's really easy just to sit and like play it on the sofa. Um, but whatever you do, just don't get a ukulele. This is a ukulele free zone and you know what? You're better than that. Well, that depends on you really. I selected an acoustic, well, electroacoustic technically, but an acoustic guitar because it just means less stuff overall. But you could just as easily learn a noodle away on an electric. So I've been using this lovely Epiphone Hummingbird. You can see it's got this cherry sunburst coloring and a really sort of country music aesthetic to it. And it's just a joy to play. got a rich round sound, like smooth action. There's just really not much more I'd want from an instrument at this price range. Yeah, it's only $350, but it just ticks almost every box I have. But if you want to hear more about my thoughts about this particular instrument, go down to the description in this video and you'll find a link to our full article where we're gonna cover it more. Listen, my recommendation is if it's your first time, don't spend too much. Just get a guitar that's reasonably priced and if you want to upgrade later, you can sell it on. Right? Easy as that. But what I would say is go to your local independent guitar shop. There'll be all sorts of experts and fantastic people there ready to help you out on your journey. And even better than that, you'll be supporting a local independent business during these troubling times. My God, I'm such a good guy. What a fantastic political statement that was, but you know, go do it, this pocket, they could use your help. A quick note here, I am not a guitar expert, or in fact, even very good at the guitar whatsoever. I used to be enveloped in this world, but nowadays, not so much. I'm just happy in my own little bubble. So if you're looking for genuine technical or practical advice, well, my friend, this isn't the place for it. But you are in luck because there is a gamut of information out there from 
apps to websites to private tutors and YouTube. Really, the world is your oyster. But where I think I can help a bit is with the idea we've been talking about of musical mindfulness. So I think with that, it's about dropping these pretensions of whatever that is of success, of being good or being bad. It's simply, in my mind, about being, about enjoying your time with the instrument and your focus. And if we're talking that well, then I do actually have some tips for you in order to relax and enjoy yourself in a non-pressured way. Honestly, start with scales. They're an easy way to lose yourself and you just like are doing a pattern with your fingers and you can do it while you're watching your favorite Netflix show. Yes, learn chords, they're important, but what you should learn are the chords in a key and specifically if you can some of their progressions just as a really simple idea look at the key of c major and just learn the first the c the fourth the f and the fifth the g throw those together and you can just strum away happily in a mindful meditative way Basically, if you want to clear your mind, a few minutes of attentive focus is fantastic. You drop everything in the world and you just concentrate on doing one task well. But where I've actually found some of the most joy and happiness and relaxation has been that sort of passive practicing where I'm just sitting around noodling. And those are the moments, it's that balance between the two of them that are gonna really help your mental journey. I'm not trying to sell you anything, nor am I saying anything revolutionary here. I guess my only point is to maybe give you a little push if it's something you've been thinking about anyway. All I can say from my experience is picking up a guitar again has been magnificent for my mental health. It's been relaxing. I felt some of my troubles slipping away. And I hope more than anything that maybe you could get the same experience too. Playing an instrument is calming, it's relaxing, and it is better than meditation. I'm um, sorry monks out there, maybe you should form a sick band instead of trying to, you know, achieve transcendence. Um, anyway, if you like this video, then why don't you slam that subscribe button below? And even better for me personally is if you look at the top comment, there should be a link to sign up to our very own newsletter. So do that. But more than anything, have a wonderful day, you beautiful people, and see you soon. <laughs>